I think we got a pretty good card from a gambling standpoint in front of us. And let's start taking a look ahead. Let's kick it off right now. UFC Vegas 32. It's in the rear view mirror. It's all about UFC Vegas 33. Al, kick this off for us, man. What are you looking ahead at? Uh, you know, look, looking ahead at this main event, I got to say, man, and uh, they're, uh, since he's come back from his accident, they're really, you know, as far as a, a ba- uh, as far as a betting backer, I've been super high on Sean Strickland and, uh, you know, cashing, I think, in the last three fights on him since he's come back from his uh, that accident, the motorcycle accident that almost ended his career. But uh, I don't know. I think I saw a little bit in him in that last fight uh, that kind of scared me off. And I feel like... Uriah Hall here at big plus money at like plus 185. I don't know, man. Uh, Sean Strickland, really good. He's really is super good, like super crisp boxing. Uh, but there's just a serious lack of head movement, a serious lack of just a serious willingness to just straight up take a shot and to just lead with his chin. And uh, I feel like Uriah Hall, to be honest, is uh, a, a large step up in competition that we've seen since uh, we've seen this new Sean Strickland. And I feel like this is a little bit of, uh, you know, perception is not reality. And I got to go with the value on Uriah Hall here, man. Like uh, Uriah Hall, it. In his last, uh, he's eight and five in his last 13 fights since 2015. Seven of his eight wins, he's won inside the distance. And albeit two of those seven is, you know, against one against Anderson Silva and then one a, a broken leg against uh, Chris Weidman. But still, uh, if this fight, you know, Strickland has won by decision, uh, in six of the last 13 fights, he's 10 and three in his last 13, six of those 10 by decision. And if, if he's going to come out there in that, uh, who, who was it that he fought? Who was that last fight? Um, who was that last fight that Sean Strickland had? I for, uh, but that in that fight, if he comes out looking like that, just leading with his chin and with, very little head movement and just willing to, you know, just keep walking forward and to take punches and to just, you know, let his head snap back like that with, with little regard. And, uh, Christo Yako, that's who it was. Christoph Yako. Uh, if, if he fights like that against Uriah Hall, Uriah Hall will win. And I'm pretty certain about that. Uriah Hall is, uh, a lot better striker than Jack Marshman or, oh. you know, even Brendan Allen and even Christoph Jocko, you know, Uriah Hall is a legitimate top, top 10 middleweight. And, you know, I've been super high on Sean Strickland, but I feel like we got to just pump the brakes here a little bit. He shouldn't be a minus 200 favorite against Uriah Hall. And I'm super interested. We haven't talked about this one at all. I'm super interested. What do you think about this one? I mean, for the most part, I'm going to have to agree with you. You know, it's uh, for me, it's all about the implied probability. And uh, Sean Strickland, you know, when I first glanced at this card, I, you know, I was like, whoa, okay, Sean Strickland minus 200 and continuing to take steam over Uriah Hall. Yeah. And listen, I'll put it like this. I think it's, I think it's fair. I think that Sean Strickland probably should be the favorite, but I expected this fight to be lined fairly close. Um, like you said, you know, Sean Strickland, this guy's going to go out there. He's going to keep the fight standing. He's going to go out there and try to box up Uriah Hall. I mean, that's what Uriah Hall's praying for. That's all this guy's ever wanted was to go out there and have a purely stand up affair. And that's how it's going to play out. And Al, I'm with you, man. I, I just feel like, you know, where these numbers sit right now, Uriah Hall has a much better chance at winning this fight. And I see this fight playing out much, much closer than where these odds sit. So 
I mean, I haven't really made up my mind. And, and like I said, I think Strickland being the favorite, I think that's that's probably fair. But my God, I mean, we're talking like, in my opinion, we might be a full dollar off where this money line should be. It's it's up there, man. And, and I, I, that's what this game is, is just taking advantage of inefficiencies. And I'll go as far as to say this. Um, I think if you have a bet on Uriah Hall at this value, you're putting your money in a solid spot. Win or lose, win, lose, or draw, you're on the value side. And if you continue to do that, you're probably going to make money in this game. So, man, I don't know. You know, it's one of these fights that I'm going to have to watch a lot of tape. I'm going to have to pick up on just the small nuances, you know. I bet Uriah Hall in his last fight against Chris Weidman as an underdog, right? Um, Now, do I deserve any props? Do I deserve a pat on the back? Not at all. Uriah Hall literally made one correct move in that fight which was to perfectly check the kick of Weidman, but that's the whole fight. You know what I mean? That's all the fight was. And I'll be honest, I'm a fan of Chris Weidman. I would have rather lost that bet than have Chris Weidman snap his leg and step his shin bone through his calf like he did. I mean, I'm still a little bit traumatized over that one. Uh, But yeah, man, I'm with you. I think Uriah Hall probably will start taking some money it's a tough one, though, man. When it comes down to it, though, you know, is the value on Hall? Yes. Do I think Sean Strickland wins this fight most of the time? Probably, but my goodness, Uriah Hall, man. You know, Sean Strickland, very flat-footed for the most part. Uh, not necessarily checking a lot of kicks. Really good hands, really good boxing, but Uriah Hall starts working some body kicks, throwing some leg kicks, some calf kicks. Here's the thing, though. Uriah Hall might be so uh, so traumatized from Chris Weidman breaking his leg. Uriah Hall might be like, you know what? I'm never throwing a leg kick again. I was on the winning side of that. And uh, it, it's almost like Chris Weidman caught the leg-breaking curse from Anderson Silva, right? Then he breaks his leg. Who's to say Uriah Hall hasn't been transferred this superstitious uh, ability to break your leg? He He checks a leg break. Now he's the guy due to get a broken leg. I don't know, man, but um, oh, I think you're right. I think the value side right now is on Uriah Hall. Are there any other fights you're looking forward to? I just want to rewind just a little bit. One second, though. I just want to talk about for one more second about um, uh, Uriah Hall and Sean Strickland. Sure. I Sorry, I just feel like it's really important. You made a good point. Uh, it's just really important to point out that Sean Strickland is just a human punching bag. And Uriah Hall is a, you know, Uriah Hall was compared to Anderson Silva when he was coming up. Uh, Obviously, that was an incorrect, uh, you know, comparison. But he's got, you know, he's got, um, he's got good striking. Definitely smoother striking than Sean Strickland, who's just a, uh, you know, really smooth boxer. But as far as, um just as far as his, his uh, you know, his uh, striking defense, not very good. So to be honest, I see some people that are pretty like that are high on this Sean Strickland spot. And like I, I, I would advocate, I would advocate not, not doing that. Like I, I think, I don't know. I just think there's some better spots on this card, uh, but yeah.